of things and words by erasmus fourteen sixty six to fifteen thirty six from the colloquies of erasmus volume two this is a librivox recording all librivox recordings are in the public domain for more information or to volunteer please visit librivox dot org of things and words the argument this colloquy concerning things and words exposes the preposterous judgments of some people who are more ambitious of names than they are of the things themselves to be esteemed than to deserve esteem in aiming at things it is better to be and to have in avoiding things it is better to be thought to have them and to be without them it is the worst of frauds to cheat a friend beatus and boniface beatus god bless you boniface boniface and god bless you heartily beatus but i wish we were both of us unanswerable to our names you rich and i handsome beatus why then do you account it so small a matter to have a great name boniface indeed i make very small account of the name unless there be the thing too beatus but most men are of another mind boniface perhaps they may be mortals but i don't take em to be men beatus nay good man they are men unless you think there are nowadays camels and asses in the shape of men boniface i should sooner be of that mind than believe that they can be men who would rather have the name than the thing itself beatus in some sort of things i confess that many had rather have the thing than the name but in many things it is quite the contrary boniface i don't very well take you in beatus we have an example of it in ourselves you are called boniface and you have what you are called but if you were to be deprived of either of them had you rather have an ugly face and be called cornelius boniface why indeed i had rather be called thersites than have a face as ugly as the devil whether i have a handsome one now or not i can't tell beatus then again if i was rich or must either part with my wealth or my name i had rather be called iris than be deprived of my estate i grant what you say to be true and i am of opinion it is the common temper of those that enjoy health and other corporal enjoyments boniface it is probable beatus but how many may we see that had rather have the name of being learned and pious than to be learned and pious boniface i know a great many of this sort of people beatus well then is not the name more esteemed among us than the thing itself boniface so it seems to be beatus now if we had a good logician who could probably define what a king a bishop a magistrate and a philosopher was it is very likely he would find some among them who are more for the name than the thing itself boniface he is really a king who aims at the good of his people and not his own governing them by law and justice he is a bishop who watches carefully over the lord's flock and he is a magistrate who sincerely studies the good of the public and a philosopher is one who neglecting the goods of fortune studies only to get the endowments of the mind beatus by these you may see how many examples of this kind i could produce boniface why truly a great many beatus will you deny all these to be men boniface i am afraid we shall sooner lose the name of men ourselves beatus but if man is a rational animal how contrary is it to reason that in the conveniences rather than the real goods of the body and in external things which fortune gives and takes away at her pleasure we have rather have the thing itself 
than the name and in the real goods of the mind we put more value upon the name than the thing itself boniface it is an absurd way of judging if a man did but consider it seriously beatus and the reason is quite the same in those things that are on the contrary side boniface i expect what you're going to say beatus we may pass the same judgment as to the names of those things which are to be avoided as has been given as to those that are to be desired boniface that's plain beatus for to be a tyrant is more to be abhorred than to have the name and if a bishop to be a bad man the scripture calls him a thief and a robber these names are not to be detested by us so much as the things themselves boniface in truth i am of your mind beatus do you infer the same as to the rest boniface i understand you very well beatus don't all fools hate to be called fools boniface yes indeed and more than other folks beatus would not he be a fool that should fish with a golden hook and prefer glass before jewels that should put more value upon his horses than his wife and children boniface he would be a greater fool than ben of the minories beatus are not they such fools that list themselves for soldiers and for the sake of a poor pay expose body and soul to danger who make it their study to scrape up riches when their minds are destitute of all good science who make their clothes and houses fine but let their minds lie neglected and slovenly who are very careful to preserve their bodies in health but take no care of their minds that are sick of mortal diseases and in the last place who for the sake of enjoying the fleeting pleasures of this life deserve eternal torments boniface reason itself obliges a man to confess that they are worse than fools beatus but though every place is full of such fools as these you can scarce find one that can bear to be called a fool though they have no aversion to being fools boniface it is really so beatus come on you know everybody hates to be called a liar or a thief boniface they are very hateful names and not without reason beatus for all that though to debauch another man's wife is a greater sin than theft some glory in the name of adulterers and if you were to call them thieves they would draw their swords upon you boniface this is a common thing with a great many beatus and again though many give themselves up to whoring and drinking and do it publicly yet if you call them whoremasters they would be highly offended at it boniface these glory in the thing and hate the name that belongs to it beatus there is scarce any name that sounds harsher in our ears than the name of a liar boniface i know some that would run a man through that should affront him by giving them the lie beatus but i wish they did as much abhor the practice have you never had it happen to you that he that promised to pay you what you lent him upon a certain day failed you boniface ay very often and though he had sworn to it too and not only once but over and over beatus but it may be they were not able to pay boniface nay they were able enough but they thought it more to their advantage to let it alone beatus and is not this lying boniface ay downright beatus and did you dare to say to this debtor why have you told me so many lies boniface no not except i had a mind to fight him too beatus 
well and in like manner do not masons smiths goldsmiths and tailors promise things upon a certain day and don't perform it although it is of great concern to you boniface ay and are not at all ashamed of it and you may add to these such persons as promise to do you a kindness beatus ay you might give a thousand instances more not one of which would bear to have the lie given them boniface the world abounds with these lies beatus so in like manner nobody will bear to be called thief when at the same time they have not the same abhorrence of stealing boniface i would have you tell me plainly beatus what difference is there between him that steals a thing out of your escritory and him that forswears what you have deposited with him boniface no difference but this that he's the more wicked man who robs him who reposes a confidence in him beatus but how few are there that do restore that which has been put into their hands and if they do restore the whole boniface i believe but very few beatus but yet not one of them will bear to be called a thief though he has no aversion to the thing itself boniface this is very common beatus now do but reckon up with me what is commonly done in the management of the estates of orphans as to wills and legacies how much sticks to the fingers of the managers boniface very often the whole beatus they love thieving but hate the name of it boniface tis true beatus what do collectors and coiners of public money do who either coin it with too great an alley or too light or they who raise and fall the exchange of money for private ends though we don't very well understand the reason of it yet we may speak of what we experience daily he that borrows or runs a debt with design never to pay although he be able differs very little from a thief boniface he may probably be said to be more wary but not more honest beatus notwithstanding there is so great a number yet none of them can endure the name of a thief boniface god alone knows the heart and for that reason among men those that run themselves over head and ears in debt are not called thieves beatus what signifies what men call them if god accounts them thieves surely every one knows his own mind and besides he that owes a great deal of money and yet dishonestly lavishes away what money he gets and after he has broke and cheated his creditors in one city runs into another hunting about for people to cheat the oftener he does so does he not declare the more plainly what he is at heart boniface ay too plainly but they oft times gloss over the matter beatus how boniface they pretend that this is a common practice with great men and kings to owe a great deal of money and to a great many persons and therefore they that are of this disposition more resemble great men beatus what use would they make of that boniface it is admirable what great liberty they would have allowed to knights beatus but by what right or by what law boniface just the same that the lord of the manor shall claim to himself whatsoever is cast ashore from a shipwreck although there be a right owner of it or by which other persons would keep to their own use what they take from a highwayman after he has been apprehended beatus robbers themselves might make such laws boniface ay and they would too if they knew how to maintain them 
and they would have enough to plead in excuse of them if they did but denounce war before they committed the robbery beatus who gave knights this privilege above the commons boniface the law of arms for thus they are trained up for war that they may be more expert at plundering the enemy beatus i believe it was after this manner that ferus trained his soldiers up to war boniface no but the lacedaemonians did beatus a mischief take them and their whole army too but how came this title to have so great a prerogative boniface some of it by descent some purchase it with money and some take it to themselves beatus and may anybody have it that will boniface yes he may if his manners but be answerable to theirs beatus what are they boniface never to be guilty of doing a good action to go fine wear a diamond ring whore stoutly gain continually spend his life in drinking and diversion speak of nothing that's mean be continually cracking of castles duels battles and everything that looks great they take the liberty of quarrelling with whom they have a mind although they hant a foot of land of their own to set their feet upon beatus such knights as these deserve to be mounted upon the wooden horse but there are a great many such knights of gelderland End of, of things and words by erasmus from the colloquies of erasmus volume two